What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Creepers and I'm here today with sort of a shorter version of the stream that I did yesterday. On this video I want to show you guys everything that it, I mainly found that it was changed. Uh, we're also going to be talking about the new skins um, and the new system of cars, we're going to see how it works. It works pretty fine, I liked it a lot. Uh, we actually even played a little bit with the skins, the new skins and etc, but I'll just be showing it on the training grounds because um, right now I don't have a lot of time to actually go and play but you can still see the clarity of the skins and sort of the the, the default the, the flaws on the skins themselves you can actually see I'm on the PDS you can see all of this money right here so it's, it's not impossible to have on the normal server but it's technically really really you know really hard to get now we do have the wreck chest and we do know that on the wreck chest no. there's a new weapon if we go down here here it is and it's gonna appear right here this is sort of a bug that i need to fix this should be up here uh we also have the dz which uh, surprisingly enough it's on the vip store as well i really don't know what what was that all about we can see that all of this has changed. We have here the customization, loadouts, and abilities, and now the abilities appear like this. The talents actually appear here on the right. Uh, supposedly they will appear here saying what's the level that you require to unlock them. Uh, but yeah, we no longer have that little tab where we used to see the cards. I mean, they're all free. Why would you really need them, right? So let's see the guns for now. Now, the guns here, uh, they have the same sound effects as the other ones. The bullets themselves are the same type of bullets, you know, the, but the little darts of the wrecked weapons. And the animation of reloading, it's a little spring that goes back with one of those bullets and you can see it and then it closes. And we're gonna see all of that in a little bit of gameplay after. Then we also have this amazing yeah. skin for Pip here, which unfortunately it does not have a voice back. It does not. I'm really sorry guys. And even worse than that, the ultimate does not create any sort of animation, you know, in, in relation to the skin itself. You don't, it, they're normal chickens, just like you would do with a normal skin. So technically, this is almost like a variant of the normal bib. Like, it doesn't really make sense. I've been seeing here a little bit, and it's sort of more like, a, you know, sort of more like a variant of this one right here. Although it doesn't have the belt in the middle. But yeah, unfortunately it does not have any sort of animation. It is really bad. And you can get this skin here on the gold chest. Instead of the diamond chest, it's on the gold chest. They're above us. Go down here, it's a little bit after Maeve. There it is. Boom. So here it is. You just have to unlock it with gold. Uh, good, good. The good thing about this is that if you have like tier 3 on the VIP store, you're trying to get imagine you have the tier three in the old days you would receive radiant chests what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be giving you gold chests ladies and gentlemen yes they're gonna repay you with gold chests if you bought the packs uh like the the rion pack like i did they're gonna be giving gold gold chests basically because of the the radiant chests that we got even the the twitch prime pack that we got we will also be refounded with gold chests, which is very cool. For people who already bought it, you're gonna get it as well, don't worry. About these new two skins, they were put it in the diamond chest and no longer can be bought. So for people who bought them, you know, you had the chance to actually buy the skins directly because you liked them. But unfortunately for a lot of people, you'd, you now have to go into the diamond chest. And as you guys know, 400 crystals is a little bit much, but uh, the good thing is that now, it doesn't really show here. I was trying to see the locking rewards, but unfortunately it doesn't show. But in the locking rewards, we will now receive crystals instead of the radiant chest that we will receive in the end. So, less chests and etc, which is pretty cool. Some new skins, but still no new uh, champion, for those who are asking. Now, you probably have been asking, what is that? What is that level in Maeve? 74? That's impossible, right? Well, no. 
not anymore. Now you can actually level up champions. I do not know if this is going for the official version. Okay, I do not know if they're going to be putting this on the official version. Let's hope not, because if they put this there, I'm going to be I, I'm, I'm going to be sad because this is really bad. In the old days, we could actually know that you are good with a certain champion because you would have a higher level, right? You would have experience. You would show that you played a lot with that character. But no, apparently with here, I think this is just for the PDS, let's hope so. You can just buy it, okay? It, it, you're, if you're asking yourselves, how much do you spend on each level? Let's see here. Okay, so after level 75, I think it's always the same, 50,000. It's a, So supposedly it's after level 50. Yeah, after level 50, it always goes like this. And the thing is, uh, for each level, you spend 1,000 gold more than the last level. So in the first level, you will spend 1,000. I can actually show you this really fast right here. Let's go, for example, Lex. Lex here, we're level 2 and already has some sort of experience, so we only need this gold. Now, he's level 2. What he requires to go to level 3 is 3,000. And so on. Then he needs 4,000. There's 4,000 and 3,000 already together, because you can just get here and select the level that you want and spend the money. Of course, this is really stupid. I actually did it to see how far we could go. And I can tell you that I think it caps at level 1000. Yes, you heard me right, 1000. It is really goddamn stupid, guys. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. But let's see a little bit of the UI now as well. As you can see here, the as I said, like here, you cannot see the levels where you unlock them. The, the talents, but you can come here, mastery rewards, and you will see here which cards you unlock and at which level. They also said that you're going to be requiring less experience to level up, so I think that's even more stupid to actually use this. And not just that, they also said that you're going to be re receiving gold for each level that you pass, so it's going to be a lot easier to get gold. As a matter of fact, for those who don't have all champions, I, I advise you guys to buy them, because the champions that you have to buy, that it's that they cost right now 12,500 will cost 60,000 gold guys that is a lot and the voice packs will also be 15,000 gold will change as well and I think that the champions that were 5,000 will go to 30,000 20,000 something like that I know that that's on the the, um, the notes the, the, the patch notes you guys should definitely go there and check out the changes I'm just trying to change, show more of the changes that we can see. We can see here that Fernando now has a, a little bit of, uh, of a little change. I think this, this picture wasn't like this one, right? They did mention something about it. Not entirely sure. Now, let's go really fast into the training and see those skins. Okay, here we are. So we're going to be seeing Pep first. And now the legendaries or the talents will appear like this, which is really cool. Although I feel like some cards weren't fixed, like for example this one. One second. I mean, it's good, but you know, you could go much farther with it than before. And this one goes back into its normal thing. Oh, we actually forgot to see a loadout. We, we'll do it after this, like really, really fast. So as you can see here, we're going to check out the weapon. And the liquid is orange, which to me looks like weird, since I would definitely... I actually hit it somebody, I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking, how the hell did I hit it somebody? <laughs> but still, you guys can see the animation, it drives sort of a, you know, a snow dust kind of trail. And now, for the explosive flask. Boom. Almost does like this, this sort of storm. see it boom pretty cool let's see what when he uses the the lightness it's called lightness right why weightless weightless I'm sorry when he uses the weightless he leaves a little you know snow trail behind and of course what you guys are probably wondering what happens with the ultimate let's check it out and let's make this interesting yep it's completely normal, which to me it's really, really bad if you ask me. Now let's see the skin a little bit from the back here with light. 
and let's put him doing the emotes. So we can see a little bit all over him. And as I said, it doesn't have a voice pack, so it's kind of bad if you ask me. I wish it did some something more, and apparently in the gameplay he always has his goggles on. So it looks even weirder. You know? Looks really weird if you ask me. Now let's take a look about Lex's new weapons. Gotta spend my bounty. That was a mistake. Better spend these credits, bro. So here are the weapons, as you can see. So as you can see, the sound itself, for every time you shoot, does like a clock kind of sound, which is the the sound from the the little bullets, and it also does this animation, as you can see. Why is it not working? God damn it! Like here, there's a lot of light. There it is, the little bullets. And when it reloads, you can see the left weapon as it is right now. It's like this little spring there. So we're gonna do it, and boom. You saw the little animation here where it does like a spring uh, locking back. And that's the darts in it. So let's take a little look here into the weapons. Let's try to see it like in, with the light here a little bit. As you can see here. It has a pretty good look to it. I like these guns better than the normal guns, if you ask me. And now let's see what the ultimate looks like. Is that? And... Yeah, pretty much it does that. I think there's sort of like a bug, it doesn't do the voice. Oh, let me see if I actually have the voices on. I do have the voices on. weird let's see if he says something yeah the voices are not working so it's not doing the animation shit you know the part where it says that uh, nobody ex ex escapes the law but as you can see here it does some sort of an orange little feeling to it which is really cool now it didn't even make the sound. We're breaking up a little bit of the game. Boom. And there we have it. There we have it, folks. We can actually change for those who haven't seen the Terminus as well. Let's, uh, the Terminus skin, it's not... It's not equipped, unfortunately. Yep, it's not equipped. Let's just see Strix really fast now. That one, I know that it's equipped. There he is. Oh yeah, I changed it, unfortunately. So his body, it's not the what it's supposed to. But the sound itself is really cool. No scope. Jesus Christ. If I thought that the aiming on the PS4 was actually weird, I can't even imagine it here. Look at this. How did that miss? How did this... I can't, I can't. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's go into a... Just a standing target, and let's see this. Hello, Sky. I'm gonna aim for your head. I'm just gonna shoot. It didn't even touch. Let's go a little bit down. Let's see. Body. Nope. Okay, we got one shot. Oh my god. Harris, come on. 
this is stupid. This is stupid. I don't like this. So here we are, guys. Let's take a look about the cars now. For example, let's do Maldamba here. And let's do the loadouts. And so it's pretty much like before. It's no longer those all the cards showing up and then just five little spots below. I actually enjoy this much better than the old, the, the, the you know, the OB65, OB66 uh, way. And now, instead of all of them having, you know, different colors, since they're all pretty much free, all of them are level one, and then you can put more points. But let's, for example, maybe... Let's create a loadout here that I usually use. Let's use this. It's gone, Mending Spirit by 0 0.5 cents. If you missed, that's good, that's good. Let's also reduce the cooldown of guard. Reduce all active eliminations, uh, when uh, getting eliminations, that's what I mean. And eliminations hit by guard, take 15%, reduce healing. Reveal enemies for 0 0.5. Let's go with this. Maybe not. Let's go with uh, maybe reduce the count, cooldown of Slitter. It's always pretty nice helping out a little bit. So let's give a lot of speed to people. Now you can go up to level 5 instead of 4, which was the old little system. And it changes also the frame in case you didn't notice. The frames change. And this is actually pretty cool if you ask me. Like going at the level 5, uh, it's actually pretty good. Like for example here, I pretty much like I, 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 I stop it completely. So I can just go with 4 seconds here. And let's give a little bit of points here for each one of them. And maybe like this. Yeah, pretty good. So as you see, it's pretty easy. You can actually delete them. Something that it wasn't, like, it wasn't added a long time ago. It only comes with one basic loadout. And we only have six to create. Uh, or technically five if you count that, that that one cannot be changed. Which is something bad. I don't, I don't like the fact... I, I wish that after you um, get certain level with characters, you would be able to actually delete this. It'd be much better, you know? And uh, here we can see the abilities again. Customization doesn't really change. And the overview has here the lore. Now we can see the HP. This is the next level HP you're gonna, XP you're gonna need. And it also tells you the reward, the next reward, and you get the leaderboards as well. So yeah, let's hope that they don't put this back into the official uh, little, you know, it would be really bad. Now, just a little heads up, the VIP store is going to have, as soon as it kicks in, in 7 of March, the date where it kicks in, it's 7 of March. If it When it kicks in, they're going to be taking away the plushie McCoy that it's not showing here. I don't know why. It's showing here, right? here so too dangerous to go alone. it's out of here already but still uh, they're gonna be putting the clockwork Torvald and the steam demon Androxus for those who wanted the steam demon you're gonna have here an, uh, an awesome opportunity to get it from VIP points especially because for those who don't understand if if you if you keep your chest you get the money value for it but for what I've understood you don't get the VIP points so if you earn the login, you know, the five days uh, chests, the champion's chests, you should definitely open them. Don't try to keep them because they're just going to give you the gold in it. And as I said before, things are going to be more expensive indeed. But they're giving 625 per card, um, which is all duplicates. So if you make the math... You know, technically, you're not going to get as much as gold when it comes to the champion's chest, but you're going to get VIP points. So if you want to get VIP points, you know, a lot, a lot of VIP points, I should, you should always open the chest. Unless you buy them. If you buy, if you buy diamond chest, you're just going to get what you just spent it. I don't think you're going to get for anything for the cards. Like, they're going to be count, they're going to be counting the chest that you bought and the chest that you open it. You just uh, earned it. And the chest that you earn it, you're going to get what's inside of them. The chest that you bought will be given the, the normal value of it back. So, yeah. So, I would, I would open all the chests. Like, really, there's no big difference here. And I wouldn't waste my money in it because that's what I've been saying. Like, they're already giving you... They're going to be giving you the exact same amount that you just spent it. So, why would you do that, right? And now, just last thing before we go. 
there's this is sort of a bug and let's hope that Harris actually fixed this if you try to create a match whatever it is you still have this loadout style that they forgot to take away it doesn't change anything I tested out bound and arcade it doesn't change anything at all but they should definitely fix this but yeah guys that's all for the video today I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys took away your doubts whatever your questions were and you know Come into the PDS and test it out for yourselves, guys. You're going to be loving this new patch. T technically speaking, how can I explain this? Technically speaking, um, there's actually no big changes, no big skins, no big champions or anything else. But the fact that the card system changes a lot, it is pretty damn good. You guys should definitely t test it before it comes into the normal uh, system. Oh, and just one last question before anybody asks. If you have a loadout... Uh, that you created here on the PDS. You know that your loadouts created here on the PDS will stay here. Uh, if you had a loadout created in the previous patch, which is the same thing that is going to be happening to the official one, they're going to be here at all level 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. I saw this happen to a loadout that I already had here, and that's the same thing that is going to happen into the official one. I almost forgot, just before we go, just because, just before we, we leave, uh, there's only one more thing that I want to talk about. You guys know about the new skins, not the skins, the new sprays of the community that they, you know, the bad drawn sprays. I really, <laughs> if you come here into the store, they will be here in a pack, which I already bought, so it's not showing up. You just come here, you buy the pack, and then the pack is available for every single champion. And the pack brings these five sprays. <laughs> and the pack, I think it's 6,000 gold or 2,000 gold, something like that. I don't know if they're going to be changing it when it comes to the official um, patch. Uh, but these sprays are so goddamn weird. <laughs> I, I mean, it's it's awesome that, that, that they actually added this into the game. It's actually pretty awesome. Some people just did this for fun and they actually managed to put something into the game. But it's so goddamn weird. I mean, look at this. What is this, guys? I saw one that they call it the Zuckus, which was basically Zen to get together with Ruckus. It was really weird. <laughs> so, guys, that's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next video.